story time again. And I got Mickey and I got uh, Minnie over here. And they got big ears to hear better with. And that's why God gave us ears so that we could use them. So if you use them uh, listening to my story time about love, you're going to like what you hear because it's going to actually solve some world problems. And we got lots of problems to solve. So we all need to pitch in and try doing our uh, very best. So welcome, love from love, hope from hope, springs eternal. And Mickey says, hi, it's time to be as little children again. That's born again, because all children have love. And the Bible says those who love are born of God and know God, because God is love. If our love light is on, God's a respecter of no man. He loves us all absolutely equality. And in this hour, he has given his kingdom age covenant through me. I am the latter day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13. I am the Elijah that was foretold. <laughs> Uh, according to prophecy, I am. I'm one transgressed by wine. Uh, King James foretold that in uh, Habakkuk 2. And that isn't Dr. Auer uh, who's calling down fire in the front of many multitudes. No, 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 not, not. So I'm going to read you just a little bit about evil's agenda in this day and in this uh, hour. And uh, the good news is that... Uh, Prophecy has been told to make the future, not to tell the future. There's been two totally different futures in the Bible, the uh, peace of Isaiah 2 and the Armageddon future. They cannot exist in the same timeline. We're simply at a place of a choice. So we got a choice to make. And valley, multitudes, multitudes are standing in the valley of... Uh, Decision. Yep, yep, yep. And many, uh, many agrees. That's for sure. So have some big ears out there, and it's time for us all to man up to uh, be a good people of of God. And uh, that's exactly what He wants to do, because His glory is going to cover this earth as waters cover the sea, as grass covers the lands, and as lilies cover the ponds. In these days of man's exploding technology, all children of God's brightest light must now fight like hell for what is right, for it's now quickly becoming the scariest time of all foretold times. These are the days of uh, the trial of all flesh, Revelation 3, and I bringing testimony. Uh, because this trial is over our love, and God is bringing his word of patience to keep us from the hour of the temptation not to act before it's too late uh, and not to not to change because that's what it's all about and if we will not accept the great restoration foretold in acts 3 21 then jesus is kept in reserve in heaven cannot even come back so these are the days of elijah these are the days of the great restoration the great refreshing of acts 3 21 and these are the days of exactly like Noah's that God is going to save us from and that's why he says in this hour he says I shall return my terrifying anger and stop my fast rising great tribulation Jeremiah 30 24 if people will give him what he wants and we know what he wants he wants us to let, let our love go the light of love within us is what gives us our everlasting next body made of light and to let our love wax cold uh, our love light goes out and we cannot exist that's the unforgivable sin that uh, hate, hateful people could do so um, in in these times the most terrible end of all ends is preparing to annihilate mankind like the Philistines planned for Samson's destruction. Same kind of not good stuff is, is going on. So let the wise therefore heed the 1854 prophecy of Zachary, who used the word missiles long before they were ever invented in describing the unleashed nuclear war that would either come forth as, as a fart in the wind or as a terrible reign of terror depending on people's obedience unto our love. 
from the direction of Russia and China, that lover of the spirit of prophecy prophesied that the coasts of the United States would be attacked. Nor should any fool ignore the prophecy of Fatima, uh, which declared, and by the way, that could be uh, the World Trade Center going down. But one thing's for sure, uh, nor should any fool ignore the prophecy of Fatima, which declared that fire would fall from the sky and would wipe out a great part of humanity, the good as well as the bad, sparing neither priests nor faithful, and survivors would then only then find themselves so desolate that they would even envy the dead. And the mark of the devil beforehand would sneak into Christ's church as a cowardly spy, pointing fingers at everyone around them, condemning them for believing that most people can be pretty good in spite of their tendency to be total mess-ups, all set on a self-destructive courses of selfishness which leads to utter destruction. So we must turn away from this people. Situation normal, all frigged up, uh, snafu therefore represents a snafu of World War II, which is defined in modern times as meaning a confused or chaotic state that humbles any doubters. And so watch, uh, watch, uh, watch the video called Weird Snake Goes Crazy and Kills Itself. It started eating its own... <laughs> How crazy! But, you know, that's a snafu. And the snafu has come upon the widest wings of change with COVID coming, folks, to keep us from the hour of the temptation not to change. For the Lord knows that the weed and the tares cannot grow together after he causes an exodus away from all tainted religions like a, a, a rushing wildfire well, where people will start abandoning ship of all religions that uh, condemn their brethren because all are exactly the same. There's no difference between Jew and Gentile. This was the finished mystery of God. And it's finished because the seventh trumpet of the book of Revelation sounded first, because the first is last and the last is first. And when the, that perfect trumpet sounded, all nations instantly became the Lord because he is the sower of the seeds of love from the everlasting gospel that he called forth uh, for a sickle on a cloud in, ever, uh, in Revelation 14. And as the sower of the seeds of love, he has gone before me, his reaper. I am the reaper of his harvest, the last Elijah, the latter-day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13. And I got nothing left to do because there's nothing for people to do. They don't have to believe nothing or do anything. All they need to do is just keep their love light on. And now it's part of our survival. Because if we will not band together in love and become our brother's keeper and raise up the one world religion of uh, uh, loving your neighbor as yourself and loving your enemies and the one world religion of love, then we're all in deep doo-doo. I don't got boots deep enough for what would be uh, otherwise. Praise the Lord, our oblivion that's listed in five places in the Bible, Deuteronomy 18.18, 18, Malachi 4.6, Zephaniah 1.1, 1, 1, Isaiah 24, the whole chapter, and Matthew 24.22. Even though it's literal, the good news is it's erasable, and it will be released through our love being stirred up and that's what the Lord uh, foretold for the kingdom age that is coming now and it has intellectually started now because he has given his kingdom age covenant in order to destroy all the kingdoms of man. Jeremiah 1.10 and uh, Haggai 2.2 says the same thing. And what he wants to destroy is all the imaginations of all thought that not built on the firmest foundation of love. Things got crooked, and he is the carpenter of the ages who has his way in the storm, and the clouds of our confusion are but dust under his feet. So it's time to reverse, get off the bus, and stop the insanity, and stop all this uh, racism that's out there. Spiritually, people don't like each other because of what they believe. Forget the color of their skin. Unless you pop that bubble, 
racism is going to grow really th long, pointy teeth, and this world is just going to get in bad shape. So behold, the days of refreshing have finally come, the days of the great restoration, and he's pouring it out his love from his great white throne over all the peoples, over all the circle of earth. It's not just COVID that's being poured out, it's his love. And uh, the wise shell begins shining as the brightness of the firmament, as Daniel 12 foretold, as many turn to love as the stars forevermore. Just in, that'll increase their light as they share God's word of this everlasting gospel, which he's now sending forth during the season of the knowledge of love, exploding as a supernova here at the Daniel Owsley channel. Therefore, a prophecy from 1897 is finally being manifested because our promised Messiah is now ready finally to destroy all darkness by his Lamb's lion heart. For he is the word of Allah, who now declares his most majestic word of majesty, so his faithful few can finally see the great light of love going before him. And for this cause, the Lord's dove of mercy is now coming forth with his overflowing compassion, so his chosen elect can survive Jehovah's most wrathful, falling judgment over all those loving hatred, mistrust, and racism that's thriving like a bunch of flies on shit all over the circle of the earth in places of his worship that are tainted. Therefore, it came to pass in 1965 that the spirit of everlasting life came unto Stanley Frodsham, who is in uh, my next uh, video as well, uh, deeper into his word, who walked with the gift of prophecy. And the Lord's most passionate spirit of compassion spoke unto him, so millions could be spared from awful deaths. Thus saith the Holy Ghost unto foolish souls who will stand against this high-flying harvest dove of these final times of his fast-fleeing age of grace. And with great judgments the Lord shall plead with all flesh. And I am pleading for him. I am his messenger. Listen, hear me well. For the Lord has commanded that the earth's gross darkness must now depart by his loving word, for he has swung the everlasting gospel into this earth, exactly as it is foretold in Revelation 14. And if you don't want to believe it, I've got two or three uh, versions of it under my videos. Uh, the manifested everlasting gospel of Revelation 14 is how one uh, title is listed. Uh, but I got one uh, story time, Everlasting Gospel, too. That's uh, probably a little bit uh, more uh, more fun. Because I love story time. And Mickey and Minnie, they love it, too. And they're always my friends. They're always around me. And they come and say hi. And uh, so we got to be like little children. And, you know, the bottom line is... Uh, our Lord, Isa Yeshua, Jesus, our beloved of the ages, he defined not born again. He said you can't even know where the wind blows. It's like the wind. And the truth is, uh, the revelation um, of the sons and daughters of God and the work of his hands, I commanded him, and I ended up writing by a light that was never plugged in for seven, eight minutes as the Lord got a few things across to my heavy heart. So praise the Lord. These are the days when the sender of a brand new flood of his own living water will cause many of hatred to be filled with such anguish that they will desire the kind of suicidal deaths that will not even be allowed for them. And those would become the deadliest days of the tribulation when lingering curses, famines, and hellish catastrophes would come alive to be a, a horror. And uh, the good news is that horror is being diverted, people. So it's time to believe the word of God and it's time to give our Lord back what he is asking for. Our love stirred up, overflowing. Because if we will not become our brother's keeper and if we will not start loving 
in much greater way those whom we can see. He knows we can't really love him whom we cannot see. So much uh, hypocrisy out there. So much selfishness. So much me and uh, selfish uh, greed. And the, the, the truth about everything is, is, is quite simple. Love shall let us be free at last, free at last. He has sent his kingdom age covenant to release all shackles of spiritual bondage from off our necks once and for all. When we realize there's nothing we've ever done to warrant the eternal life and salvation and bliss and paradise that is ahead of us as long as we keep that light of love on. It's never been about us. Our goodness is as filthy rags. It's always been about his love that has transcended absolutely all thought. And this is the end of that story. And I am Elijah Conkler.